Hey, what's up guys? My name's Tim from Dangerous Sweet, and welcome back to the Long Dark Story Mode, Winter Mute. Today we're continuing episode 1, called Do Not Go Gentle, and we're doing chapter 2, Echoes of Astrid. So we just climbed up the cliff from over here, and we're all healed up, and we see our plane crash. And when we left off, Mackenzie was saying that he hopes Astrid isn't in the plane. Which I think we all hope Astrid isn't in the plane. Well, I don't see Astrid in the plane. Right, I need to find a way to get warm. But I don't know if the fire out here she in the middle in the open is going to do any good. I a hurry. Sprinting. Okay, thank you. I didn't know how to sprint before you told me. Okay, right now I'm at risk for hypothermia. I need to get warm, and I need to do it in a hurry. I just don't know where I can do that. Another piece of cloth. And some bunnies. Aim true and you won't go hungry. Pick up stones, throw them at rabbits. Got it. Thanks. I'm gonna equip that one. Now let's take a couple of extras. Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? It's possible. With this fire here. Maybe I can warm up a little bit. Hell yeah, we got a fire, man. Alright, let's see if we can go to a rabbit. Damn it. Now, see, I am at risk for hypothermia. But my condition is still pretty good. Did I get it? Yes. Nice. I mean, poor little bunny, but I gotta do what I gotta do, you know what I mean? Sorry, little bunny man. Okay, let's stand here by the fire. Am I getting hungry or anything? A little bit. Oh, cool, there's a cave right here. There's a body and a bedroll. What have we here? Gloves, a torch. Alright, let's get a fire going real quick. Try to get some warmth back. I just slept and now it's all dark and scary. pick up some sticks while I'm out here. I have a feeling I gotta go through that cave though. I just did a pretty decent fire on a bunch of sticks. So I'm gonna get some back. Yeah, I don't see anywhere new to go this way. Alright, through the cave we go. We couldn't have made that a little bit tighter, could they? Jeez. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Got another torch. Now which way do I want to go? Try this way, I guess. Oh. A letter found on a discarded backpack in the cave. I left with the others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep up. Some turned back to see if they could wait it out at the old church. I kept going, but I think I took a, took a wrong turn. I'll backtrack in the morning and see if I can find their trail. The letter is signed, Alice. I wonder what happened. I hope there's no bears in this cave, or wolves, or anything else that might think I'm a tasty morsel. I would like to let them know I'm not a tasty morsel. Okay, we made it through the cave pretty easy. Astrid. Let's just keep going. Where did you go? Oh, there's a wolf. Avoid if you can. Wolves are not dogs. And out here, they are very dangerous. They normally avoid humans, but do you want to take a chance? Like most things in nature, wolves are afraid of fire. Campfires, torches, or flares can keep them at bay. Throwing torches or flares might scare them away, but there are no guarantees. In the end, the best way to avoid tangling with wolves is to give them a wide berth. Remember, they are attracted to blood and raw meat. What's a wide enough berth? I can't go through that rock. This is when jumping would be in would come in handy though. You can have that deer, man. I don't need it. Stay back. I'll torch you. I think I won't, man. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble from Mr. Wolfie over there. I don't want to hurt the wolf anyway. I like wolves. A road. Great. I'm not as lost as I thought. 
I'm pretty lost though. I can't see. Oh, so that's the road? Is there anything in the car? Cars can serve as shelters, protecting you from deadly wind and wildlife. You might even su find supplies left in the glove compartment. Glove compartment or trunks. You got a soda? No, okay, that was fine. Nothing in the trunk. And nothing I can do with the hood. Okay, so I think we're going I think we're going the right way. Cause it said something milk? about searching milk. Hmm. Guess Aspen could have ended up there. Okay, he's running off. I got in here because I got scared of the wolf. But I think he took off. I think we're okay. Now how am I supposed to get that firewood? This I guess like, like that. <laughs> That'll do it. I don't know if there's anything in hoods or not, but I don't know why it let, lets you open them. If there's nothing there. Oh, you can sit in the back seat too and get stuff from there. Is there... Oh, wolf's coming back. Okay, I don't, I don't care to check those cars in. Hopefully the wolf won't mess with us if we just keep going. It's a little unnerving being out here on the open road like this though. I'm just kind of running around blind now. I hope I'm going the right way. Well, this is what my life has come to. Staring at a fire in the middle of nowhere, trying to figure out where I am and where I'm going. This is my life now.